salt. I don't know who commented that they wanted to watch videos on toilet repair, but you know, whatever. Shit. I am baffled. Shit. I am baffled. I, I can find better things to watch. So who whose idea was this? Said yes to watching toilet repair videos. I mean it's like fixing a find toilet. better things. So that is not what I, mean, I signed up for. That's me fixing a toilet. Really? You want to watch her fix a toilet? Well, hopefully she'll get it over with quick. So maybe and maybe we'll learn something. Right. Thanks, guys. Toilet repair. Okay, so my husband is extremely irritable today. I've been working out in the hot sun, long sleeves and long pants, spray painting. So he's asleep now and I do not want to wake him up. So here's the culprit. Let's take a tour. So, I cleaned it for you guys, but the flusher, you push and nothing happens. So, I want to flush it before I start. Get that cleaning out. So, give me one second here while I take off the, the tank lid. Very precarious rig here for, for the videos. So hang on one second. There you go. Okay. So what the culprit is down here. This is like really hard. Essentially what's going on is the, the ring is rotten and it uh, is too firm of a suction to flush using the flusher, so I need to replace that. So, turn off the water, right tight, left loose. Righty tidy lefty loosey. Now we're gonna drain it out again. Okay, now give me a, give me a moment again. Set you down again. Set the lid in the other room. Okay, we've got clean water. Now, I need to get the rest of that water out of there, so.
this comes apart. Figure this part out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to get this out, but this is attached to the lever, and I can't figure out how to unscrew this yet. But here's my. This is like completely rotten. I push on it, and it just collapses. And then there's a black seal, and that's just falling apart. But I got to get the rest of that water out of there too. See, that's just gross. So I'm going to pause this for, well, no, maybe. I'll let you guys experience the whole thing. Sorry. If you don't want to, then I'll just pass it forward, but I'll get you back in place here. That's great. Okay. There. Okay. I'm using a grip tie on my phone hooked around the edge of the counter, just so you know. Oh, okay. okay. So you just keep lifting and it'll slide off. All right. And that. Oh, my back hurts already. I just started. And let's see here. Okay. So I just lifted straight up, but yeah, you can see this. So now, to get the rest of that water out, let's see here. <laughs> I'm not real sure how this was even on here. Let's read the instructions for the new pack. Shut off water supply. Completely drain tank. Um, I did part A, step one. Disconnect water supply line from ball cock shank beneath the tank. Ball cock shank. Ball cock shank. Ball cock shank. So down there, coupling that. Turn off the water supply. Disconnect that. Flush valve. Float, refillable tube, tank lever. Okay. So I completely drain the tank. Disconnect the water supply line from the ball cock. So I need to get the water out of there before I disconnect that, or it's all going to run out the hole and all over the floor. I could just get a bucket, but I don't know if I have one that's got. Okay, let's see if I can find a container.
I need to disconnect that. Where are those? Yeah. Let me get this curtain all the way out of my way. I can see that I might have to do some of this like sitting in the tub. Sorry if that's loud. Let's see. Alright. Okay, righty teddy, lefty Lucy, but I'm upside down, so this is loose. Okay. I know that container's not gonna be picking up, is it? No. Hang on. It's fine so now. I have my towels for soaking stuff up. I get rid of this stuff over more. Let's see. Oh I know. See how you do that.
Okay, I've been jacking with this side between the tub for quite some time because I can't get my head low enough to see what I'm doing. So you guys are going to have to help me out here. Let's 
tank's almost empty. from removing that um, washer and not because there's a gasket in there and I relieved the pressure from the gasket that's keeping the water from the tank from coming out that hole and going into the bowl. So it came out where I removed my washer. So now I've got this one here so I don't know if a little more water is going to come out but let's take that one off. So now you can see, I got two of the three, so this is moving now, but I haven't been able to get that other one. So what I'm going to do, I couldn't see what I was doing, I'm going to make sure that my wrench is the right size first, and now go at it. I'm going the wrong way.
I know I should be using a socket, but it was enough to sneak in the garage and get this with him asleep. reading glasses on because I'm too fucking close. I need to go that way. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Feels like I'm going tighter. God damn it. Let me see. See, this is ridiculous. There's a flathead screw driver fitting on that side. It's probably turning around and around as I'm doing this. So what I need to do is put the wrench on the bottom, hold that still, and just use a screwdriver. So now i got to find one. Hold on. I just messed them all up. I'm gonna use the itty bitty baby one. Um, oh, here's a bigger one. Because again, I don't want to go down to the garage and wake him up. So. I just discovered that this had screwdrivers the other day. So here we go again. All right, now, let's see. Is it hanging out on the tank? How's that? It's not a very good angle for you.
was turning. So girls, lesson learned, there's an easier way. Use the screwdriver and inside the bowl and just hold your nut, hold your nut underneath and screw from the inside, okay? Hold the nut from the underneath and screw from the inside. Got it? realized, you know, they didn't sell me any new washers for these, um, for, oh, I almost fell, shit, for these bowls, for the bolts, did not get any, so many washers for these, so hopefully we got some downstairs, but I got those out now, okay, and I empty my little thing. Ew. Okay. If I keep saying all right, it might be all right. Okay, let's take that off. Is it again? All right. I broke my pot socket right off. Okay, pause. Okay. Glasses are blowing up because I'm overheating. There we go. I can see where I missed painting behind the toilet, so I want to fix that real quick. Let's go get the paint. And 
I don't need anything that big. But, okay, I guess we'll use that. That's fine. And I don't really need that either, but we'll grab it. Hey, this turned into a painting video too. So. Somebody drank all my cans. Do that really carefully because I don't like getting the. Oh, you couldn't see any of that. Oh, sorry. Um, when I do that, I go around a few times because I don't like really cranking on it and bending the lip.
obstacle wall, so I gotta go in a lot of directions to get it covered. Otherwise, you gotta put a whole bunch of paint on there. I don't wanna do that.
Normally I take them outside and whack, 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 get all the water out. And then um, if you keep the cardboard that came with it, you can even put that around it to keep your bristles nice. But you just want to make sure when you dry it that your bristles aren't all sprung or it's going to stay that way. So we're going to let that dry. Then you double check your sink make sure you didn't leave any spots. There's no instructions for how to use the toilet once you're done.
there's this bow. It goes this way. Not this way. It goes this way. Place the new gasket on the tube. Recess and gasket permits snug fit over nut on tube. 
set tank back on bolt opening. Bolts will line up. Tank to bowl. Replace washers and nuts beneath the bowl. Tightly, gently. Tighten gently and evenly. Okay. Doesn't say how far you're supposed to shove this down the thing. So I'm just going to set it on there. Right. I'm not ready to do this yet, I don't think. We still have to we still have to figure out how to get that shit.
remember those threads on the bottom? That's the bottom of this thing. But what I want to replace is this. So let's go look at what I bought. Yeah, look, that's going off. Water completely drain tank. Disconnect water supply line from ball cock shank beneath tank. Disconnect tank from bowl. Okay. Remove old flush valve from tank. Install shank gasket. Flush valve. Flush valve. It's this thing. It's a flush valve. Okay, so remove old flush valve from tank. Doesn't say how. I'm guessing it unscrews. Um, install shank gasket and new, insert new water saver flush valve attach shank nut. Not really helpful. Oh, and you guys couldn't see any of that. I'm sorry. Tell you how to take the damn thing off, but let's see what this looks like. Okay. Okay, that's a one piece, and that goes there, and this thing here. This is what was sticking. Mine was like permanently molded down, and it would create such a suction there that when you go to flush the toilet, it wouldn't, wouldn't release itself. So, so this thing, I think that goes a little bit like that. And then there's this, so let's look at the one that's on there and figure out how to get that off. Okay. Oh, this is going to be like a four hour video. You always asked for it. Okay. goes on your head. That, okay, let's flip it over and take a look at the bottom. Take that back off. Ah, yes, there it is. I see it. white ring. I don't know if my wrench is going to be big enough. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be big enough. Oh, yes it is. Shut that one past. 
point of no return. Fuck. That's stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen that it can you can actually go past. Okay. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. See, the fucking thing is stupid shit. There, now it's on there. Okay, so righty tighty. I need the other size, damn it. This sucks because my husband is gonna wake up. Put it in. I slipped it over that lever first. Down into there. Okay. Thank you. 
smells like an aquarium. Okay. I don't really want to tighten it. I want to crack the the tank. I think that's fine. Now my gasket. Where to put it? Tub is destroyed here. Where did I put you? Yeah, there it is. Okay, got this. This goes on here. Right there. Okay. I feel like I should push it down at least till it's flush. But I suppose it doesn't really matter. We're going to put it up on the toilet. It's going there. Okay. So I was eyeballing it from the inside of the toilet, the three bolt holes to the three on the seat, the base. So I've got that in there. Now i got to get those screws back in. And I'm just going to let it rest against the wall. That should be dry enough. Now here's the other problem we've got. These, these little lovelies. <sighs> Gross. <sighs> these have rubber gaskets on them as well. No, they don't. Oh, look at that. I was thinking those were gaskets. They're not. The bolt itself is like rubber on the bottom. The Okay, so cool. I don't need to worry about going down in the garage and finding rubber gaskets. Those should be okay, but they're filthy and that's gross. And I want to clean them a little bit. I'm checking that rubber to make sure it's not like brittle and falling apart. This one is a little bit, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I'll keep an eye on the toilet for you know a while after I do this, to make sure. Because the way that that rubber is, it's not like um, a, a removable piece. It's like permanent part of that bolt. So, okay, let's go. Not that, you know, toilet water isn't somewhat 
Oh, there's thread on the floor. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know where to put this, but it's gross. I'll throw it in here. Okay. So now, when I was setting it down, I made sure my three holes lined up so I could see through the, the bolt holes. Now it's time to put these back in with the dreaded washers and nuts. So. them evenly and gently. So, hope you guys can see. Yeah, you can. Okay. So I'm just looking at the wall to see that I have the same amount of room on each side. I hate that fucking wrench, though. But I gotta 
tighten it down, so what did I do with it? Here, oh, using it to hold the phone up. That's great. Okay. Let's use this instead. Give me my wrench back. Under screwdriver and pop. I'm just holding the nut still on the bottom, and the main action's happening. Screwing on the inside, holding nuts underneath. Holding the nuts underneath. That's going to be, you know, like a. It's necessary to hold the nuts underneath. But the main event is the screwing inside. Okay. Okay, I've got what I believe to be a firm grasp on the nuts underneath. And I'm screwing on the inside. I'm just gonna give it a couple turns. I don't wanna crank down because evenly and gently. So I did the right one. I'm gonna do left now. I'm gonna go for the left nut. I'm gonna hold that one. I hold the left nut firmly and continue screwing on the inside. Sometimes when you're heading for the, the back end, it can be intimidating. It's kind of like unknown territory for some of us. And uh, you can do it. Just take a deep breath, head right back there. I'm gonna go with that tight. It's not, I can still move it. So I'm gonna go back to the right. Let that rinse repeat. I'm gonna keep going until this doesn't wiggle. Feels like it's the right side though. Some will lean to the right, others will lean to the left. Now the back's a little loose. 
certainly don't want the back to be a little loose. Loose back. Nothing but trouble. The back side's loose. Got bigger things to worry about. Sometimes you're not going to like what you see and you're not going to be able to erase that from your memory. So think about it before you just go sticking your face back there. Take, take a peek. Can't unring that bell. see if it was rock solid when I started. It probably was, but who knows. shit out but clearly there's some valuable life lessons in here you know as far as the nut holding and the tightening from the inside um, but it's just it's a lot to take in clean. Doesn't really wiggle. Oh, I can hear it. Which one's moving? Yeah, that back one still. never done this before. I can't find the nut. The right one feels loose. Son of a bitch. Nut maintenance is uh, it's, it's an ongoing thing. Neglect the nuts, loose nuts. Mm -mm, they're not a good idea. God, I'm getting tired of doing this. I think that's good. God, I hope it's good. I'm tired of doing this. Let me check and see if that 
seal underneath looks like it's even. It looks like looks like it's much tighter on the right than it is on the left. Oh yeah, let me fix that. Okay. Cramps with my legs here. There we go. Ah, now it's loose on that side again. Under the pinch, man. loose on this side again. Let's go check one of the other toilets in the house. Let's see how fucking tight those are, huh? Let's look. Mine is much tighter than that one was. But here's my worry. Look at that. It's further down on one side than the other. I'm wondering if I should loosen that now. It's like... It's crooked. I feel like I need to loosen one side. I mean, I put like my weight down on that sucker on this side. So I am going to loosen this one. And try and get it. You're in my crotch. down that gasket down there. Squish it down so it'll move. There. That looks better, huh? It's a little crooked, but I'm a little tired of doing this. It's 
nice and firm. Let's see. I'll just loosen this a little bit more. That looks better. That helped, doesn't it? That looks pretty good. Nice and even. Let's check. I think it's a little higher on the left, but I think that's enough. Sucking around. Okay, so now let's finalize this. So this little gadget here, um, it's got a little styrofoam foot. Yeah. I believe I unscrewed that from there. Which way was it? Oh, this one. Uh, I took off the old one, so I don't think I need this. This is garbage. Yeah, that's garbage. This one has one on it. It's just weight. It's the same thing. So then, all I should need to do is hook the water back into here. Float. Here's the old one. Okay. Okay. That's garbage. That's garbage. That's garbage. Let's get rid of these. Okay. This can go back. Where does it go? Oh, it was so much easier for me. Oh, no, oh there it goes. Okay. I make you clean up with me. Learn this from my mom. Always clean up as you go. That's how we always did it. Thanksgiving, by the time dinner was served, all the dishes were done. Because you keep washing it as you go. Whoopsie.
have I built up enough anticipation to see if this sucker sprays water all over me? Okay. Here we go. I won't make you watch me clean the tub, but we do have to hook the water back up here. This hose to this supply. the toilet making that noise. Doesn't look right, does it? Does it? Wait, oh, yeah, I don't think so. Sounds weird. See how he's leaking. I see something dripping over here. Yep. The drip there. Wait, turn off the water. It. All right. So, which one is it? It feels like it's the stupid gasket. Motherfucker. Oh, let's see. When I push down, it leaks worse. I don't get along well with plumbing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause because I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so I tightened them down again. Probably a big mistake to have it tight and loosen it. I mean, that only makes sense. So, um, let's try turning on the water again.
see if anything's leaking. Paper towels is easier to see if it gets wet. Doesn't look like it's leaking. It's all dry over here. I don't know if that's probably from me washing out the bathtub. Yeah, it's like the bathtub. Get ready to go. Check it. Wash that out. Look too much paint dry. Oh, no. Okay, no leaks. Okay. All right, I had to get my tools back on. So, we're almost an hour and a half in. So, you guys can see this isn't a quick fix if you don't know what you're doing, but I bet if I did another one, it would be fast. Is that ever going to turn on? Yeah, it will. Okay. Why is it making a noise? Not down there. Oh. It's this thing making noise.
was. We're going to lay it back down there and I'll check on it again a little later. Make absolutely sure. If you have any questions on toilet repair, um, I mean, I can answer questions, but whether or not the information will be valuable or accurate, or, you know, something that's going to cause, you know, permanent irrevocable damage to your home, I, I really can't guarantee that I'm, you know, a good source for any kind of information for plumbing repairs, because I am not any good at plumbing at all. Just enough knowledge on that particular subject to cause some serious damage to a home. So, you guys, you know, you asked for it, and I delivered, and uh, it actually went a little better than I thought. So, the bathroom is back in uh, working order, I shouldn't say back been working the order since the very first time I've lived here, since I lived here. This toilet never worked very well. You always had to take the lid off the tank in order to flush it, which is not the most pleasant thing to have to do. Here's my pile of wet towels to do. I'm working on laundry. And I gotta put the wrenches away. But there you guys go. I fixed the toilet. My battery's just about dead on the phone. So I'll finish cleaning up the rest of this and uh, I'll try and, you know, get this loaded. Get to me. Um, so that you guys can see how I spend my day off. It was kind of awesome. I would so much rather be out there. But it looks like it might, you know, it's sunny that way. cloudy that way, but yeah, I'd much rather be out there, but somebody's grumpy, so no fun for me either. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye. Are you happy now? Do we ever want to see that shit again? Anyway, um, thanks for, uh, sticking in there through that ordeal, and, uh, maybe the next one's going to be, like, um, answering tags or something, because... I don't know how many, how many more times I can watch shit like that. Well, you know, every cloud has a silver lining, and at least I, I don't have to pee in the pool anymore. So, feel free to unsubscribe. So, yeah, we understand. If, if, you know, if you stick around for the next one, God bless you. You're a trooper. Super duper pooper trooper. Bye. Hello and welcome to the Mental Health Hotline. 
If you are obsessive compulsive, press one repeatedly. If you are codependent, ask someone to press two for you. If you have multiple personalities, press three, four, five, and six. If you are paranoid, we know what you are and what you want. Stay on the line and we'll trace your call. If you're delusional, press seven and your call will be transferred to the mothership. If you are schizophrenic, listen carefully and a small voice will tell you which number to press. If you are depressive, it doesn't matter which number you press, no one will answer you. 